So what do you do with a brand new pressure washer? You rip it apart, show you guys what's inside, how it works. Keep watching. So let's tear into it, let's rip off the hose and everything else and take off the cover and see what lies beneath. So Sunjo sent this to me to demo and I was a little bit hesitant because there's, it's a brand new product. There's not any, any real online reviews for it. But then they told me that just the, um, the hose reel and everything else is new, but they actually use the same pump motor and pump in a different model and I looked at that model and that thing gets stellar reviews of people that have owned it for months or even years and it's their top seller and it's you know Home Depot sells it, Amazon sells it and there's great reviews everywhere on that and so I'm like hey if everybody else thinks it's great and this is the exact same pump and motor as all that the inside has to be pretty good so I thought you guys would like to see what makes this thing tick back here is nothing it's just all the different nozzles they give you this right here was our um, our on-off switch, essentially. There's a low, a high, and just an off. And this is a um, this controls how much soap gets dispensed in your mix. I was curious because this switch is off to high to low, whether or not this is just a um, an electric switch or if it's actually a pressure switch. But I'm thinking it's going to be an electric switch. I did run it for about um, 45 minutes. Yeah, it's just an electric switch. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, it just activates a um, wow simplicity in its finest. It just it's just activating. There's just two cams on it. You switch it one way, it goes what? You switch it the other way, it switches the other way. So China is actually pretty good about little things like this, utilizing, um, improvising, and utilizing stock parts to save money which is not a bad idea you know it seems these days we're in a day and age where you know some other manufacturer would spend you know, ten thousand dollars designing its own switch to be able to utilize it and i'm pretty sure this would have to be um it's not really there's no waterproof lining but there's a ridge all the way up around kind of like a um a drip drip edge so if any water actually did fall over the top it would actually just cascade down and off. And I think they're pretty, being pretty careful about that. It looks like we got some sort of heat sink down here. Yeah. So it's moving a fair amount of power. We got to cool off that little, um, I guess that would be a transistor. And then we just got power going directly into the motor. So this is actually, there's really, there's no microcontroller or anything. So. It's very basic. So we're just controlling high and low speed on the actual motor. Let's see if we can rip more of this off and get down to the guts of it. Doesn't seem, I wonder if it's attached to the bottom. Oh, nope. Okay. So yeah, the little piece, the whole assembly just comes out. And I was pleasantly surprised. I did run it, like I said, and so some of the water is from me. But I was surprised to see when I first opened it up, I kind of looked in there and there was moisture in there. So that's a good sign that they're actually doing some testing themselves um, on these units. And then our whole electron. I mean, that's basic is basic. So simple. We've got a nice heavy duty looking motor those are thick thick windings but i guess it has to be i mean this thing is probably torquey as torquey and a big cooling fan in the back but let's get into this motor let's see what makes this tick it looks like a um triplex pump this is our inlet from our hose comes in there pumps up pressurizes and comes out here and comes out your gun and then you have your unloader valve here and on a gas pressure washer they can't shut off because these cycle on and off as they need the pressure your unloader valve will just take the water and circulate it back through where this actually has a motor shutoff switch. So there's actually this little switch that's attached directly to the motor. So once it reaches pressure, it actually just shuts the motor off. So as you're running, if you don't need the pressure, if it falls too low, it runs. And once the pressure is established and you turn off the thing, it actually stops. And that's one of the things that burns up the gas units is because the water continues to circle, a circulate while you're, um, while the engine's running and you're not squeezing the trigger and it overheats everything and melts everything and destroys everything. So we got top of our little valves off and we should just be able to pull out the plunger and the little spring mechanism. And this seals down at the bottom. 
And this is another reason why you don't want to let these things freeze. And that's another thing that destroys these. People think they ran it out of water. And you can tip it every which way and think you ran out of water. But there's still enough water in there to freeze and break everything. So we let go all the oil. And this is just going to run generally non-detergent 30 weight. We'll pull it out. And there's our three um, pistons. And then there's our swash plate in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually at an angle. And it's just a bearing. Let's see if I can spin the motor and you'll see it just uh, wobble. High points over. And it just goes around, just swashing up and down, just pushing, pushes on this side, this side, this one, and just goes around and just pumps every single one, exactly like a piston, up and down. It'll be a little retainer, and this is very standard looking stuff. Very, it looks like very nice clean casting, so pull this up. And a lot of times, let's see, because I do these, um, these giant brand ones, I got to, and they have this plastic bearing cage that just disintegrates and I still have to run it because it's more expensive than the pump. But that's a nice metal cage around the bearing so they use a better bearing than, than the giant ones do. So here you have essentially the, um, I guess a cylinder head if you were comparing it to an engine. And then there's the three pistons right below and you can see them right there and they just push up as the swash plate spins. They just keep one after another, this one, this one, this one. You know, and just keep pumping, pumping, pumping. And your water inlet is right here. So the water comes in through these ports, back behind these ports, and then you got a one-way valve that only lets water up in and will not allow water back. So that lets water up in, and then through here, it puts it in front of these pistons, and these pistons come up and pressurize it, and then it fills up into these chambers, and then these one-way valves, in here actually pressurize it and don't allow water to backflow. And then this goes directly out your discharge through your hose to your pressure system and pressurizes everything. Before I forget, just in case you're curious what usually goes out on this style pump, a lot of times I see these little retainers and the springs just break. So they run too much so the springs will snap. And so I've replaced springs you know, on the gas powered versions of this. Um, not by this company, but this style of pump. So the springs will break, and a lot of times with that is you'll end up, sometimes these little one-way valves and stuff um, will end up just getting debris or something on them so they're not sealing completely, so you lose a bit, a little bit of pressure. But other than that, they, they're actually pretty dang robust. Spinning motor, spins another gear that runs that swash plate, runs the little pistons, and pumps your water up to whatever you need. Seems pretty strong. Seems like a good unit. Doesn't seem like they've done anything that's designed to fail. Um, would probably give an, an average homeowner a good long, long life. I'll put a link to the reviews on this where other people have reviewed it, but also links to the, um, the reviews on the old one that has hundreds of reviews that are actually amazing reviews that has supposedly the exact same motor and pump identical to this one. This one just has a hose reel and a different soap dispenser and, and cord reel on the back, stuff like that. But the internal guts is identical they wanted to keep that since it was so reliable that's what they told me so um, i'll put a link to both of those so if you want to read them if you're looking for an electric pressure washer you can go read those thanks for watching guys give me a comment below thumbs up see you guys soon bye